Hi everyone. Today I want to clarify something. Um, I did a video blog and talked about what my perception of the other side was like. And um, Jason from Maui called, wrote in and he asked me, he, I'm not going to read you his letter because I'll get choked up again. Um, he was very concerned that my perception of the other side distorted any beliefs I may have here in this lifetime. And if I gave that impression, I certainly want to apologize. That is not what I meant. Um, by talking about my perception of the other side and by talking about trying to connect back to that soul that exists, not just that physical being, um, maybe I didn't say that correctly. You know, yes, we are this grand soul having a physical existence, and even though we may be having several existences in several different dimensions, we're here right now. We're focused on what we're doing here right now. And you need to be able to live in this dimension. You need to be able, be able to exist. My issue is when people forget to connect to who they really are in order to help keep that flow of everything you should be having in your life happening. You know, when we get stuck, when, um, when we don't get opportunities, when, quote, bad things happen to good people, we're not paying attention. And normally when we're not paying attention, we're letting our physical existence get in our way. You know, it's, there's a fine line between our spirituality and our physical and emotional self. And it's a balancing act. And it's really not difficult to do once you know how to do it. Once you have tools, like taking 10 minutes two times a day and just closing your eyes and just taking seven deep breaths, that alone helps you connect back to yourself, back to who you really are, so that you can see your, your life and what you're doing, whether it's writing something or you know, trying to map out the rest of the day, you have a clearer picture of what it is you're supposed to do. And just because my picture of the other side didn't show a quote God or anything like that, and that my perception of the in-between was actually our heaven, that doesn't mean that when you actually get to the other side there isn't some great power. There is. It's huge. And honestly, heaven, our perception of heaven, as Christianity or any religion shows it to us, it's just a glimpse. I think that was more my point. It's just a tiny glimpse of the magnitude of what you're going to find when you do get to the other side. I, I, I apologize if I um, downplayed that in any way. Um, the in-between that I spoke of was just that. It, it, it's in between here and there. It's in between. It, it's a place for you to remember who you are once you get to the other side. Because when we're in this existence, we're held by this body and we think this is all that there is sometimes and that this is my personality always and it's not when you let when you take away that physical body and when you take away that physical emotional self you lighten up and you become the person you really are which for some people is totally opposite of who they are here the reason they took on that personality is to learn better to learn faster to learn quicker to learn harder so Again, I apologize if I didn't explain myself clearly, but I hope that that this it helps you better understand. Yes, I see this magnificent place on the other side, and even though I don't constitute it as heaven, I consider it so much more than heaven could ever be. Uh, for example, the colors that you see are beyond your imagination. But in that in-between place, it's kind of like, uh, this is more my perception of getting to the other side. 
It's more of um, focusing, focusing a camera lens. When you focus a camera lens, it, it, you know, the colors are kind of soft and undisturbed. And then when you focus, the, as you get them really focused, they become clear and bright and, and magnificent. That's like the transition to the other side. Now, not everybody has to go to the in-between. Most of us do, because we need that. We need, we need to remember who we are. We need to not forget who we've been here. But at the same time, realize, however long that takes us, realize that we're more magnificent beings than we realize. And get completely to the other side. And not everybody gets there, and it's okay. That in-between is huge, and a lot of people stay there. A lot of people stay in the in-between, and, you know, to, to be reborn. They turn around and come back and, and be reborn because their belief system will not allow them to go past that in-between, whatever that in-between is for them, whatever religious beliefs you have now. And Jason asked me to talk about my belief system. Now, it's important. It's important to have a belief system living here. And that's what makes us better beings. That's what's, that, that is what makes our lives better here and flow easier. You have to have a reason for being here. You have to have an existence. And just because I see the other side as a certain thing doesn't mean my heart and soul doesn't say, this is who I am here. You know, there's no accident I was raised in a Catholic family. There was no accident that, you know, 10 years ago I got to see the Dalai Lama. And that experience changed me profoundly. It made me look into not Buddhism as, Buddhism as changing my religion, but Buddhism as a way to live here. And I know that Christianity can do that, but I think Christianity gets lost in that. They get, it gets too, when you go to church, you, you feel like you're being punished. And I know not everyone feels like that, but that's how I felt in that environment. That you always had to do good, you could never do bad, and if you did bad, you had to repent. And there was just like so many rules and even though, yes, Buddhism has rules, but to me, those rules are kind of like common sense rules. They're not things I had to learn. They're things I had to remember. Well, obviously, I need to, you know, not want to cause suffering on someone else and want to relieve their suffering if I can. You know, the morality of it is just simple. And, and at the same time, a lot of people take Buddhism as a philosophy and not a religion because they're they do not talk about a god they do not focus on the other side and the hereafter they focus on here and now and that in itself helps me stay attached to this world and live in it more fully and live in it more completely and you know it's not every day that I start thinking about what the other side is like I, I hope I didn't give that impression either because I don't. You know, when somebody asks me about the other side, that's when I pay attention and remember and stop and go, oh yeah, well this is what it's like over there and that's what it's like over there. You know, in my life, in my existence here, yes, I see my grandmother who watches over me. Yes, I see another guide who watches over me. Yes, I see my family and friends. Yes, I see, you know, the family of those who come to me for readings. But that's what I see. I don't see where they are. I don't see it that they're at the in-between. I don't see that they're all the way on the other side. I don't need to see that. Because if I did, I think that would confuse my life even more. So please don't have the perception that I always see that part of the other side because I don't. And I hope I cleared that up because it, I really felt bad. Um, when Jason wrote in. So Jason, thank you for writing in because I'm sure other people had the same questions. And that's it for today. Ciao.